which city is easier making friends? Still. Berlin, Frankfurt is not, are not that open. You think about allow me to finish the question? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be comparing what it's like living in Frankfurt and what it's like li versus what it's like living in Berlin. And to do that, I have a Frankfurt-born German who now lives in Berlin as well. And we'll be comparing the two cities together. The Frankfurt we're talking about here is Frankfurt and mine, not the other Frankfurt, which is a counterfeit. <laughs> Yeah, capitalist Frankfurt, not communist Frankfurt. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, guys, subscribe, it's free, it's 2021, show some love. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I don't have a website, but Instagram is my website. You can follow me on Instagram, at Waleo Chronicles. And now let's get into the comparison of this video. Now we're going to talk about language, right? Of mm -hmm. course, the official language in Germany is German, because we're in Germany, of course. But as international city, you know, there's always some unofficial languages. So which city do you think is more accessible in terms of for people who do not speak any German at all? Where can you survive and thrive the most? I know people in both cities who, whose German is like average and they, they work in non-English speaking jobs. So it's possible in both cities, but I think just getting around uh, in your daily life is easier in Berlin. Um, there's more services for expats and uh, like uh, English speakers in, in Berlin. Berlin, Frankfurt, which city do you think has more job opportunities for people who do not speak very good German? Berlin just has more job diversity. There's more low-level, entry-level jobs in Berlin. Mm -hmm. And Frankfurt, I mean, yeah, probably are a couple of bank CEOs who don't know any, any uh, German, but I, I think on on average Berlin just has a more accessible job market, but Frankfurt there's more stable, well-paying jobs because simply you need more financial stability to live in Frankfurt. Hmm, hmm. that's interesting. So what 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 do you mean by low-level jobs in Berlin? There's a lot of service industry jobs. There's a lot of small businesses in Berlin. So Berlin, for example, does not have a, a lot of huge corporations. Uh, the area of Frankfurt or further down, there's a lot of huge businesses, um, like all, all the major banks have their, have their representations down there. In Berlin, I think it's what, it's Deutsche Bahn, Zalando, and BASF, and that's about it. That are like the big, uh, huge corporations. And the, 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 most of the job markets is like medium companies, smaller companies. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the reason why the job market is different, yeah. So do you think for someone who does not speak German, which city do you think it's easier to find a job? Mm. A highly skilled individual. A highly skilled individual? Yeah, well, do you want to find, the question is, do you want to find a highly skilled job or do you want to flip burgers? That's the question you can... <laughs> no, but like if the person yeah. is highly skilled but does yeah. not speak any German, right? Yeah. Or very little, mm -hmm. which city do you think the person can tr thrive in more? That's a very good question, actually. Yeah, yeah you're the German representative. Hard Please tell us, tell us! <laughs> I, I would say that Berlin is full of highly skilled or people with a lot of titles from all over the world who, you know, or who have good job experience too. And uh, they're not working in their jobs. That's, that's why people come to Berlin, actually. They say, like, oh, I had this corporate job. I'm tired of it. I want to go to Berlin and, and have a good life. Oh. That's, that's, that's kind of a traditional reason why people come to Berlin. Okay. In Frankfurt, I think it's just more solid job offers where they say... Berlin, for example, a lot of the job offers are limited term. Frankfurt, the difference is that you have a lot more unlimited contracts, you know, for like serious jobs long term. Cost of living, right? Yeah. Um, do you want to go first with Frankfurt and mine and then... Yeah. Can that's actually the reason why I came here originally 15 years ago. Berlin was a lot cheaper at the time. Um, it's not anymore, but Frankfurt uh, does still have a higher cost of housing. So rent is more expensive in Frankfurt, but it's kind of evening out in Berlin. So it, it really depends on where you live inside the city. So for other expenses, food and so on, Depends, it's like four to five hundred euros. If you want to be sure, like for rent and everything together, plan for yeah, maybe fifteen hundred euros a month in, e in either city. I think that the cost of living is not so different anymore as it used to be. Which city is easier making friends? I know you were born in Frankfurt, mm, but still. Berlin, Frankfurt is not, are not 
that open. You don't even allow me to finish the question. Sorry, yeah, <laughs> you, just, yeah. you just answered immediately like yeah. Berlin. Bankers are not known to be friendly. Really? Yeah. How so? Uh, they're because it's a banking city, so it, uh, it's the whole culture. It's kind of like they see themselves like New York. They're a little arrogant, you know, because they have these banking towers, and so it's it's a lot about appearances. And people are, you know, when there's money, there's distance. You know, people are more like, "Hello, wie geht es Ihnen? Guten Tag." Yeah. 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 You, you always have to look at the, the, the population structure. If there's a lot of people who just recently moved to a place, of course it's going to be more friendly. And Berlin yeah. has had a huge population growth recently. Frankfurt has also had some growth, but there's mm -hmm. also... If you go to a place where people have lived for a long time and everybody knows each other, it's not going to be that easy, right? Yeah, that's yeah. true, that's true. So um, the next area we're going to talk about is culture and diversity. Mm -hmm. So um, we know that both cities are very international in Germany, and um, but which city has more to offer in terms mm -hmm. of what to do during the weekend, and which city is more accepting of foreigners between mm -hmm. Frankfurt and Berlin? I have to say it wasn't always like this. When I came to Frankfurt, Frankfurt has always had like 50% foreign nationals living in Frankfurt um, because they're like business employees a lot. and. Um, Berlin at the time was, I think, for all of the city, East and West Berlin, you have to, uh, don't forget there's two Berlins, uh, had like 10-15% foreign, foreign nationals living, so that doesn't count like the children of foreigners, it's only like foreign citizenship holders. Mm -hmm. Um, that has changed. I think Berlin is like 20-30% now for the overall city, so it has become more international recently. It's, it's been a recent change. Uh -huh. Um, and there's also been a lot of startups that open up in the last 10-15 years that weren't there before. As of being accepting, so Frankfurt has a longer history. Um, Berlin generally is, uh, people find it more friendly here. They, they find it easier to make friends and get along with people. That's the reputation <laughs> that Berlin has. It depends on... It maybe depends on if you speak their, their cultural language. You know, Which is what exactly? It has a different culture than Frankfurt. In Frankfurt, it's about money. You know, if you're uh, if you don't have money, they're not going to mess with you. In, <laughs> in Berlin, you, you need a lot of cultural capital. Let's say it that way. You know, mm. you need to know the right places and the right things to do, and then people will accept you more. Or, I mean, you can find your own crowd. Maybe you know. You, yeah. You say, I don't like these people. I mess with somebody else. So, as for things to do, Frankfurt is they have a lot of like. Um, offers museums, restaurants, clubs and these kind of things but during the city as I said there's a, a million le uh, people leaving Fra going in and out of Frankfurt every day so mm -hmm. after eight o'clock everybody goes home and the city shut down on, on weekdays and Berlin doesn't sleep you know there's always there's these small corner stores they sell liquor all night so if, if you're Spätig. yeah there's a lot of spätis. So you said there is partying in Frankfurt, as of course there's mm -hmm. partying in Berlin. So what kind of partying is um, obtainable in Frankfurt compared to Berlin? Frankfurt, yeah, it's bankers. It's, uh, I'm not that young anymore. It's, it's been a couple of years for me. But, <laughs> <Opa>. <laughs> but I remember the first thing about Frankfurt, uh, the first thing that changed to Berlin, Berlin didn't have bouncers when I came here. They didn't have bouncers at the door. Because they would just let let anybody in. There was a lot of just clubs, and they just wanted to get people in, and they didn't really care. In Frankfurt, they're like, oh, if you're not dressed well, we're not going to let you in, and uh, or uh, we don't want to have fights in the club, and th these kind of things didn't exist in Berlin at the time. I don't know how it is now. Oh, they do have bouncers now. They have for bouncers sure. Now. Yeah, in Berlin, they have bouncers now. Yeah, the super fancy places. They, they, I think they've always had bouncers, but a lot of yeah, a lot of places didn't care. So um, the next um, area we're going to cover is the public transportation system in both cities. Frankfurt is significantly smaller than Berlin. So we want to know like, what's the public transportation system like in Frankfurt, um, intercity and mm -hmm. to other regions, connected to other regions as well, as compared to Berlin. Public transportation, if you live in Frankfurt, the, it's okay, it's pretty good. The metro system gets you around pretty fast. Uh, there's not that many buses in Frankfurt and a couple of trams. It is more expensive. I think like a monthly pass just for Frankfurt costs you like 90 euros. But if you live further out, which you're probably going to do, 
Um, you're going to pay a lot more for public transportation, so expect upwards of 100 euros per month. In Berlin, the monthly pass for the BVG is um, about 80 euros. Remember that Berlin is huge. Yeah. Berlin is like, I don't know, Wiesbaden to Hanau. So it's like as almost as big as the, the whole region of Frankfurt. And you pay, for, for that region, you're paying a lot less for the, the transportation because you get a lot further. That it's a lot cheaper in Berlin public transport. Uh -huh. And the, the, the thing is, in, in Frankfurt, you're not going to get by easily without a car unless, unless you really live downtown. Oh. Yeah, you're, you're going to need a car eventually because if you live in the surroundings, you can't go to your neighboring village easily. It's, it's going to take a long time on public transport. Yeah. What would you say is the ideal, well, ideal in quotes, ideal personality for the people who should go to Frankfurt mm -hmm. and the people who should go to Berlin? If you're, if you're single and you don't want to spend as much, go to Berlin. If you're already advanced in your career and you want to find a place to settle down, maybe you'll find something nice near Frankfurt. So you really look at your situation. Yeah. Okay. Okay, with that we've come to the end of this video. Thank you very much for telling us the difference between what it's like living in Frankfurt versus what it's like living in Berlin. I hope our little chat here has been able to shed some light for you on which city would be better for you depending on your circumstances. Is there anything else that we've not covered in this video that you would like maybe us to talk about? You can leave it in the comment section and I can invite him again to come and give us his German insights. <laughs> And um, don't forget, if you need any translation services, you can visit Emma's website, which is Germling. Germling.com. Germling.com. Yeah, and thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next video. Bye.